Alrighty, hey guys, this is Garrison over at Massey Toyota. And here in front of me, I've got a 2016 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. And this particular one is in the quick sand exterior with the black leather interior. Now let's go ahead and check out our window sticker and see what options we have. We have the sliding rear cargo deck, Toyota Guard Platinum, clear paint protection hood and door package, um, cargo cover and phone charger for a total of 44705 Gas mileage is going to be 17 in the city and 21 on the highway. And then coming to our wheels, we are riding on 17 inch alloy wheels. Coming around back, of course you do have your blacked out accents that do come on the TRD Pro, rear backup camera, and our power sliding rear window. Some TRD Pro badging right there, and we'll go ahead and step in. We'll go ahead and press unlock twice to unlock all your doors. So coming in, we'll stick our key in the ignition. And this one does have two miles on it. So let's go ahead and check out underneath the hood. Now coming underneath the hood, we do have a 4 liter dual overhead cam V6 engine. It does produce 270 horsepower and 278 foot-pounds of torque to all four wheels through a 5-speed automatic. Your max tow capacity is going to be 5,000 pounds. So let's go ahead and check out the interior. Now stepping back in, as I said before, we do have the black leather interior on this model. We do have some contrast red stitching right there as well. It is a fully powered driver's seat with power lumbar. Now coming to your door panel, nice padded materials up top. That padding does carry through down here on your armrest. It is stitched in both places as well. All automatic windows and power locks as well as plenty of door storage. We'll go ahead and close up our door. Over here to the left we do have our power mirrors, panel dim, windshield wiper de-icer and AC outlet activation. And then coming to that steering wheel it is a four spoke leather wrapped wheel with side bolster and grip extensions. We do have perforated portions on the sides. And then over on the left we do have our audio controls as well as volume. Over on the right voice commands and bluetooth and then cruise control on its separate stalk right there. Over on your left stalk, we do have your blinkers, automatic headlights, and fog lights. And then over on the right, we do have our variable intermittent speed wipers and rear wiper controls. Now, coming to your audio system on this model, checking out source, we do have AM, FM, XM, CD, USB, Bluetooth streaming audio, and auxiliary inputs. Going to apps right here, we do have our navigation system. This is a full-fledged head unit with HD traffic right there. Pressing destination, we can input an address or select from a point of interest if you would like to. Go ahead and press home to have a nice split screen view that you can customize. And then down below that are single zone manual climate controls with our fan speed, temperature and zones right here. Down below there are various storage cubbies, USB and auxiliary input right there for our radio, 12 volt power outlet. Um, some cup holders, here's our four wheel drive shifter right here. Then here's that five speed automatic, sport mode and manual shift and then putting it in reverse we have a rear view camera right over there. We do have a sliding power window back there, so if you can take a look at that, it is automatic. And it does go all the way down and all the way back up. Coming back down here, we do have our heated seats and another cup holder. Nice padded and stitched armrest. Looking in there, plenty of storage down in there with a 12 volt. Glove box, nice and damped, and we do have our owner's manuals and phone charger down in there. Up top, auto dimming rear view mirror. Mirror and vanity lights right here on our sun visor. And then up top we do have map lights, garage home link, and then various off-road controls as well. So let's go ahead and check out the rear seat. Coming back here, of course your black leather does carry through with that same red stitching. Stepping in with this front seat set for my 5 foot 8 driving frame. As you can see, plenty of knee room, plenty of foot room down below for me to stretch out. All your door materials do follow through with your padded stitch leather up top as well as down on your armrest and all that door storage down below as well. We have dual seat mat pockets as well as rear AC vents and two power outlets down below. Then over to my right, I do have a nice padded armrest with cup holders right here. Up top we do have some cornering handles with coat hooks as well as a nice dome light. And so let's go ahead and check out the cargo area. Now coming around back, now you can actually access that power glass sliding rear window. Um, since this vehicle does not have smart key, you'll insert your key right there. Twist and hold to the left to roll it down and unlock your doors. Twist and hold to the right to roll it up and lock your doors. Now we'll go ahead and press the membrane underneath our 4Runner logo to open up our hatch. 
Now coming back here, this is probably what you're wondering. This is your tonneau cover that you saw on the window sticker, and you can easily take that out and mount it up. Over here on the right, we do have that 120 volt power outlet as well as a 12 volt. Then we do have this sliding rear cargo deck to make it easier to load. Um, maybe some heavier items in, you just sit them on the, um, the cargo deck and then push them back in. We have some D-rings in all four corners of the cabin. Of course, your um, rear seats do fold down in a 40-20-40 fashion as well. And so we'll go ahead and close up our hatch. And that'll be it for this 2016 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. Now, if you're interested in this vehicle or any of the model out here at Massey Toyota, feel free to contact them. All the information is in the description below. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.